on a brisk March afternoon, we're venturing into the heart of Roby Street High to tackle the hot button issues Dow students need to know about. This is Talking to Smudents. Uh, last year, the Nova Scotia government mandated that all the universities in Nova Scotia had to accept international students. Yes. Um, unbelievably, sort of, is that Dalhousie actually hasn't formally accepted international students. Yeah, I and think I heard this semester or the, last, the, the semester before, after the summer, that they accepted students. Well, uh, starting in September 2014, they're going to start start accepting students. Uh, and and my question is, do you think? that this is a good idea for Dalhousie to, 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 to accept students from the international community. Of course, it's good. Um, I, I think it, it, it could work out fine. Um, I think diversity in schools is always a good thing. Right. It opens doors to more students and, um, I mean, more money gets generated into Halifax. I think it's good for, like, you know, financially, it's good for Dalhousie University. Uh, we'll be popular if they accept uh, students from all over the world. I almost feel like a minority here. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's cool though. Yeah, I mean, Dal, it's probably good that Dal's finally jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, um, no, it's a good move. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah, I, I, don't think, I don't think it can be a bad thing. In, in my Dalhousie is known for the marine biology, um, and they just built a new marine research institute. Uh, now, in that institute, uh, they, they built this place called the F-L-O-R-I Zone. It's a long name, but whatever. Uh, in that... It, yeah, it just rolls off the tongue. In that zone, uh, they have a, a, a large uh, tank, and in that tank they keep uh, a whale, to, a, a live whale to do um, research. They call him Dickie. It's a funny name, but yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, lately there has been some issues, you know, and rights issues, people protesting it, uh, and, and research on whale captivity. You, you may or may not have heard of the documentary Blackfish. I know this, you know, but anyway, so there's... So, so, so there's, so there's some issues now. Do you agree that there should be protests, or uh, are are you okay with it, with a whale being in captivity and, and having research, on, do, doing research on whale? We'd have to look into uh, whales being uh, people. I feel like there are so many parameters about that we don't know. Like, a, how long have they had it? How long do they keep it? What are the how conditions? Do they treat it? Yeah, yeah so what are the right, conditions yeah. for this? It's hard to make a judgment when you don't have that. You don't have that much information. I think it depends uh, on the whale circumstances. So, a lot of times when animals are in captivity, perhaps they can't survive in the wild on their own. And well, for me, if they are probably not going against the rule, there's no need of doing protests. Um, I mean, there's lots of stuff we can learn about these animals, and I don't think we can learn them all in the wild. So, right. One animal is uh, not really ethical, yeah. but um, I feel that there's still some like benefits in keeping it in um, captivity. Like, Do you think it would be better to release the florizone whale into the wild and study it in its natural environment? I think that's the best oh, yeah. way. If, you, if, if, it, if they can do it, right? Okay. Um, I think uh, that would be the best option to release it, like in natural habitat, because uh, it, I feel like it's a good thing doing the research. Well. Doing the research, yeah. So, so at Dalhousie, we, we, we have our student union, and the president of our student union, his name is uh, President Sagar Jha, he said that for the first time he's going to actually start taking some classes and becoming a student during his presidency. Um, he, has a, he has a motto called lifelong learning, and that's, and that's what he likes to do. Uh, my question is, is, do you think the, the St. Mary's uh, student union president should also start taking some classes? I don't know, maybe. I, th I think taking a couple bird courses just for the sake of taking a couple bird courses isn't really all that important. I, mean, I don't think it's a necessity. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a bad idea to yeah. take a couple of courses. I mean, I think that the student union president like has lived like a student in the past. Right. To be more close to students, he must uh, he must uh, go to, go to the universe, uh, go to the students. Uh, Go to go to be among one of students. Yeah. So yeah. they must uh, take courses to learn something. I don't have any idea about that. Why not? I think uh, that's actually a really a, a good idea to take courses during his presidency. I don't really have an opinion on. You don't really actually. have an opinion. <laughs> so, you know, he's like he's still one of us. He's still a student, right. technically. So yeah, he should. Do you think though that as president and as a sort of representative of students, you know, that he should sort of. Be a student, you know. Is 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 is, is yeah, that perhaps that's a fair assertion? Fair thing, fair thing to say. Oh, sort of. Be you know, be, be a student. A little more relatable. To yeah, be be a little more more relatable. Um, 
agree with that. Yeah. Congratulations, Shaw, on your journey to lifelong learning. Congratulations, President Zaw, on pursuing your dream of lifelong learning. Congratulations, Shaw, on taking your classes in Dalhousie. Congratulations, President Shaw, for taking some courses at Dalhousie. Congratulations, President Jar, for taking courses. Well done. Big ups. Congratulations, President Jar, on taking some courses in Dalhousie. Congratulations, Mr. Joe, for presidency. And we hope to succeed during your presidency, and we hope that the students are satisfied about what are you doing, and have a good life. You don't know if you believe it, no? <laughs> they have a whale in, uh, within one of the uh, structures on... Uh, right, well, on, on Oxford Street, it's a really, it's a, it's a really big place, yeah. It's, yeah. Like a, it's like a joke thing. 